Welcome to DVCom Technology. In this lab, I am going to show it to you how to configure Vigor 1000 AP C series access point. Before we start the configuration, let's go and understand the lab topology. So, in my lab topology, already we have configured three VLANs in my layer 2 switch, which are VLAN number 10, VLAN number 20, and VLAN number 30. And in my in Vigor 3910 router, Port number 4, I shifted into VLAN number 10. Port number 5, I have shifted into VLAN number 20. Port number 6, I have shifted into VLAN number 30. And my admin PC at the moment is connected on LAN 1 on port number 12. And the access point which I connected on my layer 2 switch on port number 7 and I made it as a tagged port. So the tagged port is nothing but which is going to carry VLAN number 10, 20 and 30 information and I made it as untagged port as VLAN number 1. So my AP by default is going to get the IP address from untagged VLAN which is VLAN number 1. And here in my Vigor AP 1000 C series, I am going to configure three SSIDs. One is for VLAN number 10, other one for VLAN number 20 and third one for VLAN number 30. So right now my AP it's going to get the IP address from my DRATEC router on VLAN number 1 which means LAN number 1. Let's go and check what is the IP address he got it. So I am trying to access my DRATEC router through the default IP which is 192.168.1.1. Let's go and access it. The default username is admin and the password. Now let's go to the diagnostics, then after that click on the DHCP table. Now if you see here, my AP has taken 192.168.1.11 is the IP address and 1.10 is my PC IP. Now just type that IP address. Now enter the username as admin and enter the password as admin. Then after that click login. This is my brand new AP. So this AP I can use it as an access point or I can use it as a mesh root or mesh node or range extender. So in this lab I am going to show it to you how to use it as an access point. Then after that click next. Then after that the default Wi-Fi name it's showing that Raytex 04118 and it's giving the default password. So I am going to use it as p at the rate SSW0RD. Then after that say next then what is your admin password which is admin and admin I don't want to change this say next then after that click finish so now to check just keep continue ping guys so that you can able to see what's going on so I'm going to ping 192.168.1.11 then if you want to change the password you can able to change it. So at the moment I don't want to change the password so I'm going to cancel this. Now this is the dashboard of your Vigor 1000 C series. Now you can able to see what's the firmware version and which IP address has taken, how it has taken, you can able to see the complete information. So now in case if you want to upgrade the firmware just go to the system maintenance then after that you can able to see here there is a firmware upgrade. Just click on that and upgrade the firmware. In case if you want to change the time and date, you can able to do that as well. So right now it has selected as a plus 4 which is Moscow. That is fine for me. Right now I am belongs to United Arab Emirates. Select that then click OK. So NTP time is synchronized. That's perfectly alright. So now the time is 2.25 and March 12 which is Friday today. So now what I'm going to do in case if you want to change the administrator password just click on this and you can change the password as well. And by the way this AP it's going to support 2 5 gigahertz radios and 1 2.4 gigahertz radio. So now I'm going to show it to you how to configure this. So just click on the 2.4 and click on the general setup. Now you can able to see which is the default one. And now what I'm going to do by default you can able to configure four SSIDs on 2.4 radio. So now I am going to specify here let's say this is VLAN number 10 SSID. Then after that it should belongs to VLAN number 10 and similarly I want to enable for VLAN number 20 
and I'm going to specify it as 20. Similarly, I want to enable for VLAN number 30. Then you can specify it as a 30. See, I'm, I'm going to tag the VLAN tags as well. And three SSIDs I'm going to configure it. One for VLAN number 10, 20 and 30. And I have tagged the VLAN IDs as well. Then after that, you can click OK. So wait for a few seconds. There you go. Then after that, you can go to the security. So once you enter into the security, you can able to choose what password, method, what mode you want to go. So I'm planning to go for WPA2 personal. Then after that, specify the password. So I'm going to use the same password, p 8 ssw 0 rd Then after that, go to SSID2. So I want to keep the same password. For SSID3, I want to keep the same password. Then after that, you simply click OK. Then after that, it may take few seconds before changes are applied. LAN connections will be lost for a moment in case if you connect with any SSID. That's what it's meaning. So just wait for a few seconds. There you go. So right now, if you see here, SSID 2 and SSID 3, we kept the same password. Now what I want to do now, let's go to wireless LAN 5 gigahertz. Let's go and set up this. So here also I'm planning to do the same. It's VLAN number 10 and VLAN number 20 and VLAN number 30. Let's go and enable 20 and 30. And here you can specify the VLAN tag, which is VLAN number 10, 20 and 30. Then let's check VS wireless LAN is enabled. Then after that, simply click OK. So just wait for a few seconds. It will be refreshed and it's going to save the configuration. There you go. Then after that, click on security. Then you can specify the password. This password we specified before. So nothing to worry. Just copy this guy and go to SSID2. Select WPA2 personal. Then after that, I want to keep the same password. Same thing for VLAN number 30. Then after that, OK. So you just wait for a few seconds. It's going to come now. There you go. So, so far I have configured three SSIDs, one for VLAN number 10, 20 and 30. So by the way, I don't want to use this second 5 gigahertz radio. So now what I'm going to do now, I just want to show it to you whether these SSIDs are broadcasting or not. So let's click on turn on your Wi-Fi. Then click on this guy. Now you can able to see VLAN number 10, 20 and 30. These three VLANs right now, I have configured three SSIDs for each VLAN and it's broadcasting successfully. So let's go and connect it, whether I can able to connect or not. So I just want to give p at the rate SSW0RD, then click join. So once I join, I just want to verify what IP address this guy got it. Yes, I have successfully connected. To check the IP addresses, just go to the network preferences. Then after that, you just click on Wi-Fi then click on the advanced tab, then click on TCP IP. Now it got the IP address as 10.11. So I have connected successfully, but I need to verify what IP address I am getting. I got the IP address, I'm sorry. I need to check whether I get the internet or not. So first of all, I'm going to say 192.168.10.1, which is my gateway IP. Then after that, I want to ping internet. There you go. Now I want to connect it to the second SSID which is VLAN number 20 then click on show password then enter the password then click join there you go I have connected successfully then after that go to the network preferences then click on the Wi-Fi then click on advanced then click on TCP IP so I got the IP address is 20.11 so now I'm going to test whether I can able to reach my gateway, which is 20.1. Yes. And I just want to check whether I can able to reach internet. Yes, I have a successful internet access. Then last one, I'm going to connect VLAN number 30. Click join.
yes i have connected successfully now i need to check which ip address i got it so click on the wi-fi then click on advanced then after that click on tcp ip then you can able to see i got 30.10 and let's go and check whether i can able to reach my gateway or not so to check that 30.1 then i'm sorry i need to press ctrl c then ping 4.2.2 so i just want to open my browser let's see that whether i can able to get the internet or not from here yes i can able to see that then i want to open the website retech.com and i trying to browse some of the let's see what are the routers are there and i want to see the specifications of my vigor 3910 Yes, how quick, how fast is this? See here. So this is what how you are going to configure Vigor AP1000C. And also if you want to upgrade the firmware, just go to the system maintenance. Then after that, if you see here, there is a firmware upgrade. You can download the latest firmware from Dretek website. Then you can upload it. In case if you want to change the time and date, you can able to do that as well. In case if you want to reboot your router, you reboot your access point, I'm sorry, just click on this and do that. In case if you want to take the backup, just click on the configuration backup and you can do it. So this is what how you are going to configure your Vigor AP1000C series. So in case if you want to check in my Traytek router, which IP address has taken and which user just go here then after that click on the diagnostics then select the DSCP table you can see here right now this guy has taken this IP so this is what how you are going to configure your, your Vigor AP1000C with Vigor 3910 router thank you for watching for sales please send us an email sales at datawise.com see you in the next video